Yo, quick video. I'm going to talk about how strong is his soaker. Yo, his soaker. He's been hyped up by so many characters like Gaon, Kropika, and Killy all, all before Nen and even after learning Nen. Like, Gone and Killy, they still know they're not on his level. But here's the thing that kind of contradicts Killia was talking about how he sensed Pito's aura and Pito's on a complete different level than, than his Soka, even in Lumi. And the thing is, Killia never seen them go at full power. He never seen their full rent or their full kin. But Guys in the Phantom Troop, like Frinks, he stated that his Soka is actually a Cowboy Nan user. And he told Nobunaka that the Soka might be too much for him. He wouldn't be able to handle his Soka. So his Soka, during the, um, the um, New York, basically New York arc, whatever you want to call it, his Soka is about square off against Nomenaka because Nomenaka was all in his feelings he might have gotten killed he might have, he could have gotten killed possibly if he kept on fucking with Hisoka but a guy like Franks considered Hisoka a caliber name user but Hisoka he came back with a Zenkai boost so, you can only imagine how strong his soak is now. This is why I believe that some some members of the family troop is going to get killed off. Especially the ones that are going by themselves like Machi and, and Franklin. Either one of them, I, I predict one of them are going to be the first one to get killed off. Because his soak, the way his soak is now... He's strong, man. Especially his hot suit ability approved. This guy used Tester to fix himself right up. And he might be able to handle more than one person from the Phantom Troop now that he got a little Zenkai boost. And he knows their abilities. So they thinking they're the pr predators. His Soka is actually the predator. That, and they're the prey because they're sitting ducks. They don't even know where his soaker's at. So his soaker, he can finesse on him at any time. According to the data book, his soaker would be a 24. But since he got that Zenkai boost, he might be like a 25 up there with Quolo or a 26. Up there with Biscuit, because according to the data book, Biscuit is actually like one point above Quarlo, which I can kind of understand because she's a veteran up in the game. But I can't wait for his soaker to square off, man, because we've never seen what he's fully capable of. In the Nen battle, we seen him fight in the manga against Quolo. And the thing is, it was pretty cool, but I was a little disappointed because it was just too plain. It was just them trying to figure each other out. And Quolo just hiding, he hiding in the crowd like a bitch. And I didn't like that, man. I wanted these two to straight up fight. Box. I mean, somebody get the scrap. Pull out the Draco. I wanted them to go ham on each other, pound for pound. I didn't want to see all this strategy type of stuff. It ain't nothing wrong with strategy. I don't mind that, but at least put some some hype moments in it. It was kind of garbage to me. 
the best fight in my opinion so far is Netero versus Mariner. That fight was legendary, man. Legendary. And we've never seen the full extent of Hisoka's bu- bungee gum. We seen we seen him use bungee gun against Goto. And that was hype. I recently rewatched that that fight. That jump was hype. It's so much mobility and defensive power in his bungee gun. It's, it's, it ain't, it's crazy, man. Especially since it's made of gum and elastic, which both substances can be very useful in a defensive position. And for all we know, his Hisoka can have a hostile ability where he can just wear his bungee gun like a skin armor or something like that. And for all we know, it can be like dozens of times stronger that way instead of just using it re- regularly, how he does it regularly. So his whole body can become elastic or something like that. And he'll have an advantage against people who use physical attacks. He might have a different variation of bungee gun. He might have a conjure ability since he's close to the carol guard that can help improve his bungee gun even farther. Or, or he can have a, a conjure ability that's totally different. Or both. I mean, Hisoka is a magician. We don't know what he, he has on his sleeve, but ever since that Z card boost, everything jumped, done improved, and it, it wouldn't be far fetched if he decided to create more abilities after that battle he had with Corlo. So we might get to see something new from Hisoka. Because of that Zenkai boost, Hisoka would definitely be top five Phantom Troop member. Maybe even like top two, top one. Or possibly above. Because of that Zenkai boost, that's how strong Hisoka is. That's it. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm out.